Hello and welcome to Rick Skits. Um, I'm going to hit up this 1 6 British World by, by Dragon. Um, I wasn't going to do it so soon. I've got itchy fingers, so I'm going to crack it open and uh, start building this kit. Let's get started. See you in a bit when I've got something done. Hello, welcome back. Right, let me show you what I've got done. Let me show you some uh, complications within the kit itself um, that you would need to overcome. Like myself, I'm going to need to overcome them um, to complete the kit in a decent enough way. Um, so first things first, let me show you what I've got done so far. So got both frames off loads of seam, both of the frame sides are off uh, loads of seam lines which I've taken care of um, this is a on the uh, left hand front side this is supposed to be a square nub but um, which sits in there unfortunately it's malformed because it looks like they've changed the kit slightly and made it a it sort of turned into uh what's call them things um sink marks uh, which you will find all over this kit by the way so if you're not if you're you're not a fan of sink, sink marks and stuff like that. You don't want to be getting this kit. There's a lot to do. You get one right there. They're they're everywhere anyway. So that's one small issue with those. But like I said the frame needs to be cleaned up properly. All the parts need to be cleaned up properly. Um. So I've got majority of the engine together. This again is one of those where it doesn't matter if you follow the instructions or not. Um, it's going to be wrong. Um, Dragon kit instructions are notorious for missing numbers, missing directions, missing parts um, so with this kit up to it's basically the end of step one that I've got here apart from this bit which is sitting down there because uh, that's got to be painted totally different uh, basically everything is on um, on this part of the instruction sheet here you can see roughly where my thumb is let me get you in close right so up here you've got a50 which is a spark plug now there's a hole on the other side roughly here where a16 is uh, we're totally missing a part on the instructions it is A43. So what you're seeing here is A50. And then the missing part, A43. So you've got to deduce this. You've got to be a detective when you're putting these kits together. Now, after following that through, Again, my A35, A42, A36, and A43 want you to put it on the, the basically motor mount. We want you to put it on the kit. Don't. In all the world, you're not going to get that angle right. They go in those holes there. There and there, right? 
I'd put them on there. Put them on the frame. Because that's... Right. That's where it goes. Not on the motor. In the frame. It makes the motor easier to be located in the frame. Right. Can't do this. Oh, perhaps I'll you know, just knock something off there. Right. It will. It, it does make it easier. I I, I added the ears. So let's do the other side. It's mounted on the other side. Make clarity right. So your engine's going to mount up like that. It make it does make it a lot easier. Seriously. Right. This is for its. Is that way? Yeah. Is yes, that way around? I mean, I almost had a fit then before I got the thing the wrong way around. Yeah. So mount them on there. It makes it slightly easier. But in doing so, you need to leave this off because you ain't going to get it down there without a struggle. But then, at the end of the day, the whole thing's got to be painted green anyway. So it probably wouldn't matter if you do get it down there. You just, you just all got to paint it. Um, another thing on here that doesn't show up on the instructions, but shows up on another part, is this piece of. I'm assuming. It's exhaust, part of the exhaust system, comes up of the bike, again, here is the side where it's on, you can see you've got your fuel filter etc here, um, it goes in that block, it goes in that block space just there but there's no part when you look at the next one over at two it's in here focus trust me it's there we focus now no just there shows that part that part is um, right there. This is the opposite side. There's A46 and A53. It's A53 that goes on the other side, which is the piece on there. Again, detective work. Yeah. Two other things. Maybe three other things actually. It doesn't come with any wiring or anything. So this this plastic wiring stuff here of of um dug out of other kits. Tamiya kits. I'm gonna be using that because um you got a spark plug and it goes nowhere got no wiring or whatever so for it so what I've done is I've taken some of the thicker spare tube I had that's gonna drill the hole in the big old chunky fingers in a way drill the hole in the side of the I believe it's a dynamo in the side there that's uh, I've done a little bit of research online um, so that will we just got to make it a little bit bigger. That will go in there, and then I will connect it up to the Sparky. Um, on the handlebars, right. So this this is the clutch, which allows the it's a single drive, a single drive, single speed. 
two stroke so this is the clutch now that that was solid through there i have pre-drilled that out because i will be running a piece of this thin wire from here up to the handlebar right to do with that side then the other one is the throttle which will be same wire again it will come down off the handlebars and it will go through to the uh, fuel system so it will link up with the fuel system to open open or shut the fuel um, because it's dual tanks I'm going to need another piece of this tubing to go from this side of the bike to the other side of the, the bike into the other tank I need to add that this by the way is uh, going to be silver and brass all the fittings and that on this is brass so don't get that mixed up and make them all green uh, another mistake of mine is to do with this wonderful wonderful piece of flexi chain it's brilliant well, it's very nicely detailed etc so yeah pretty cool but here's my mistake right it has got to go through there around the small cog and come back the only problem is this is in the way so somehow I've got to get it through there and out that side or through there and in that side the distance in here right, in, in that distance in there is too small so if you're gonna if you've got this kit and you want to build this kit leave this off get the chain get it painted up get the chain on and then attach this at the end afterwards that's the easier option now i said there was one more headache lovely tires all right nice nice looking grip pattern all right i've sanded them all down so they're not too glossy but they're not rubber they're not they flex like rubber but they're not rubber they are the same flexible styrene and i do say styrene as this right it's what the same flexible stuff they make their tracks out of not the kit styrene but the flexi styrene the headache is these are the wheels right there's your rims right. and you've got this huge amount of plastic right here right. and if you look at it see how much you've got to get inside that tyre well I can tell you now that's what you're struggling with as soon as you fly, unless you've got a shoehorn some sort to get that on there right it ain't going but the only potential you can do here is two potentials cut all that crap off and then you should be able to flex it in pretty easily because it's you know it sits in there nicely or put the tires in warm water let them soak in warm water so they become a hell of a lot more pliable to move 
and put them on that way. That is the only way I can see around it. But, so as you know, it is a good kit. It's nicely detailed. Dragon kits normally are nicely detailed. Wednesday is the start of another group build for me. Um, I'm looking forward to that one. I've got a B51 Mustang in 130 seconds go. Crikey, how could you forget that? Thank you to my subscribers. Thank you to all my new subscribers as well. I do appreciate you coming on board and supporting the calls. And if you're not subscribed, don't cost you anything. See you in the next one. Have a good weekend for what is left of it. I should be going to work in about six hours.